So today I got 99 Mariano Rivera all on my spin. Today I'm going to go through some tips and pointers to help you guys in the right direction towards this Mariano Rivera collection. Just in general, they're going to keep on adding on the collections throughout the year. It's a good thing to do right now, or at least as soon as you can. So when they do progressively keep adding cards throughout the year, you'll be able to keep on building up your inventory and getting more and more cards. It's a lot of work, but I'm going to take any information I learned and give you guys a set strategy to help you guys get this done in the most efficient way as possible. All no money spent. All right, let's get into it. YouTube, what is going on? Before I get into the Mariano Rivera collection, let's quickly talk about a couple things. First of all, in case you don't know me, my name is Scan. I do upload daily, or at least very near daily, MLB to show tips, videos to help you all get better at the game, do no money spent things like this, or just in general, getting better at online gameplay and things like that. So if you wanna get better at the game, hit the subscribe button down below, take a browse around the channel, see if there are other videos that may help you out. And I promise you there's at least one video on the channel that'll help you all in some way, shape or form. I'm swinging by the channel down below. We're streaming basically every day throughout the week in the early afternoon around 1 p.m. So if you wanna come hang out, definitely swing by. But now let's just talk about our collection, try to get straight to how you guys can get this done. So like I talked about in my chipper video, I'm gonna quickly go through what I did to get this done very quickly before I go into the tips so you can get some sort of context and get a good background of how I did this all no money spent. Then after I go through everything I did, I'm gonna give you guys some basic pointers to help you in the right direction. Go through the individual collections that we have and suggest how you can get all of them done bit by bit. This is gonna be based on if you are a no money spent player and trying just to not buy cards directly. We're gonna be trying to earn as many free to earn cards as possible. And obviously this is for no money spent, using as little stubs and money as possible. However, this is always a good supplemental thing to do. Even if you are someone who is money spent, is trying to get the card ASAP. It'll make your life a little easier. So let's just talk about what I did to get this done. First of all, I got the Chipper Jones collection done, which helped me a lot because I got a lot of flashbacks and legends I was able to use for this. I had this done a few weeks back. If you need to watch that video and how I got this done on my spend, check out this video right up here. I did the same kind of thing for this video and gave you guys tips on how to get this done. But in general, I played the game. I played ranked BR and I made stubs from online rewards. Took those stubs and put them towards my live series collections. I also had some lucky pack pulls that made my life a little easier, but overall, I try to sell basically any player as possible and put those subs towards live series collections and get all of this done. Then once I found out they are doing the collection this week, I started to stock up on those bronze, gold, silver cards. I talked about this in my preparation video earlier this week. So I made sure to buy these guys before the collection so I didn't have to spend extra subs because their prices usually start to inflate once the collections come out. And just in general, for the next collection that'll eventually come out, they said they're gonna do more of this. It's always good to buy cards before rather than after, cause the prices usually go up afterwards and people are all just trying to panic buy and get things done. And finally, I did some of the preeminent stuff before it came out and on stream this weekend, I grinded out a bunch of the team affinities and filled out the specific divisions I needed. I did the monthly stuff on time. I did tops now up until this point. And a lot of the collections that I needed were just things I had to do team affinity for. So I did team affinity for the award series and the milestone, some of the second half heroes. I bought some of the prospect guys and just earned a lot of this through team affinity and grinding out those players that they add to the game just the other day. And then today I was able to finish up the Mariano collection and got 11 of the vouchers. I didn't get Jackie because that's very expensive. Definitely tried to pass on him. But other than that, I got all the other vouchers needed and I got Mr. Rivera. And now that I kind of summarized my experience getting him, I'm going to use all the knowledge of things that I learned through getting Mariano through this collection. Give you guys some general tips and pointers to help you guys get this done your own way now. You, you may have a lot of collections to complete or just in general, you may have a lot more work to do than I had to at this point. I'm gonna give you a, a set general structure of how to get this done in the most efficient way for your stubs as possible. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is your live series collections. I would 100% focus your stubs and time towards doing the live series collections first. These aren't that hard to earn if you have been focusing on them all year. Try to keep any live series players you have and things like that and get this done. As you see, you get a ton of these different cards to help you out with the collection. You get milestone cards, which are kind of hard to get. You get some award series cards, or at least one award series card, which makes your life a little easier. You get one of the only two signature series cards in the game right now, David Ortiz. And as in general, you get a ton of good players that'll help you complete 
these collections. And I definitely recommend doing this first because you also get these players you could throw on your team right here. And they are more so long-term cards than Mariana Rivera, who is a great card and will be on the team all year. But these guys will help you build your team more than that collection. Second, once you have live series collections done, there are going to be a few players you're going to still need out of some of the other collections. You can get some cards to the BR program, as you see here. In this current BR program, they have a ton of silver and gold packs. And you see in here, you can get a lot of these series of cards if you just try to complete this program. And you can keep these cards for yourselves, or if you have extras, you could sell them, which will help you get the collection done. That is one thing you can do. BR, I find, is the best avenue to get these cards. But also, there are some cards hidden in the inning programs. So like our bronze and silver inning pack cards, these cards you can just earn from doing the inning program. We even have some gold and classic diamond cards that we can keep. And we even have our daily moments. Our daily moments will give us some rookie cards like Giambi here, some other cards that we could use for Evos and get even better versions of. And these cards are all just earnable from playing the game for free and aren't too much work, especially the daily moments in the inning program cards. You could buy those inning program cards, but ideally want to earn as much as we can for free. Also do player programs. Your player programs will help you. They're going to keep on adding more and more of these now the game. And right now there aren't that many programs that will really benefit you for the collection, but they're going to keep on adding more of these throughout the year. If you're watching this at a way later time, I guarantee you there are player programs that will help you with this. So do as much as this stuff as possible. Also your monthlies as well will be of necessity and your tops now cards keep up with the game do your daily moments as much as you can at least do your monthly awards do your tops now do the things that they are progressively adding throughout the year and this stuff will be kind of easy for you or at least a lot of the collections will be done easily now knowing this let's just talk about the specific divisions and kind of rating which ones are going to be easy to collect the hard divisions the ones that you may want to debate skipping we have different card types in this collection some of them are super easy to earn. Some of them are a lot more expensive or difficult. Let's go through them one by one and give you guys the kind of difficulty scale for each of them. First, our easy collections. These collections are going to be the easiest ones. You'll get most of these from doing live series collections, Team Affinity 1 and 2, and buying just those BR players or just earning them through the program. So your postseason, veteran, all-star, breakout, rookie, Tops now and monthly cards, you will just get these cards by playing the game. You don't have to buy anything. I would recommend just saving your stubs and earning these cards for free whenever possible. Or just buying a couple of the cheap bronzes and silvers that you may need. Don't rush these ones because there's so many of them. They're kind of easy to earn. Now we have our middle tier ones. These ones are kind of difficult to earn. But if you're doing your team affinity too, along with your live series collections, then these cards will be not bad to earn you have to do these ones basically to get it done but they're a little more difficult to earn because they will take more time and you kind of got to be smart in who you allocate in your team affinity to try to get them done right away our second half heroes and our future stars are two big ones they added in team affinity 2 and right now there are plenty of them in the game where they're not super hard to obtain but in team affinity 2 where you earn a lot of them for free and you're trying to get the, all 30 of those teams done Choose future stars and the second half heroes kind of first in those legend and flashback packs and the division cards yet yeah, because they will be easier to obtain through that and you won't have to spend stubs. You will be able to get enough by doing just that or maybe even buying a couple of them off the market. Now we have our hard card types. These ones are ones where you're going to need to buy cards. You're going to have to buy a few of them off the market at the very least as of now. And you're going to probably need to have the live series collections done at this point just to help you supplement this. So our award series cards are prime cards and our milestone cards. They aren't the most impossible to collect. You'll be able to get them done if you have some inning bosses, if you have some of the live series collections done, and you do the team affinities. You probably will need to buy one, two, or three cards depending on the category because there aren't enough free to earn ones in the game right now to get this done. So you may want to dedicate your stubs to some of these guys on the market and buy them directly for the collection. Or if they come out with them in later inning programs as the bosses, maybe you want to choose them and keep them for these collections. Now we have the tough ones. 
So there are about three categories that I find to be very difficult to obtain if you don't have a lot of stubs. You, these are the cards where you're gonna have to have a lot of stubs dedicated to the game or just in general, maybe time. You need your prospects, 42 series and signature series. These three are the hardest ones to get. Prospects, you have to do the USA map to get all these gold ones. And that's from just doing an entire division. So if you were just to earn these guys for free, you would have to do that USA map, I think, five times to get all of that done, which is not something I recommend doing. So you're gonna be buying these guys on the market very likely for nearly 10,000 stubs a pop, which you need 20 total, which if you buy 19 of them and get Kalanick, like 190,000 stubs. So if you're gonna have to buy these guys very likely, and ideally, if you somehow get cards for free, definitely hold on to them, but this is a difficult collection to complete, but you do need 20 of them. It's gonna be a little bit of work to get done. The 42 series are tough because you need to do all 30 of the first team affinity season, which is a lot of time and work that I wouldn't even suggest doing right now for this. And you need to buy the 10 pre-order cards, which right now are very expensive. They're about 50 to 70K a lot of them, which is a lot of subs to put in just for that reliever card at the end. And yes, you get 99 Jackie, which is a nice solid card, but he's not really needed. And especially if you have live series collections done, you have the 99 Soriano. You could keep him out there more than fine, if, but this is another expensive one that you would need to get done. Now, finally, we have our signatures, which the reason this one is very difficult to obtain is because you need two of them. And right now, there are only two in the game. And later on in the year, you're going to keep on adding these. So this will eventually become a very easy one as you keep adding signature series throughout the game. Right now, you need to get David Ortiz, which is the entire American League to get this card. Then Kyle Seeger, which you get for either the 40 wins in ranked seasons or making World Series or buying him for 150K. So that's a lot of stubs dedicated to this one. So you may want to skip this one if you happen to have the 42 series already done, depending on your situation. So to summarize the divisions are easy ones, the postseason veteran, all-star, breakout, rookie, and tops now, and monthlies. Chip at overtime. They're not too hard to get. You don't need to spend stubs if you just play it right and just do it bit by bit. If you're a little behind, just keep up with that content from here on out. And there's no reason to rush it, especially with, especially if you are very behind on some of the other categories. And don't force yourself to buy these guys because they aren't too hard to complete. Our middle of the road ones are second half heroes and future stars. You can earn by doing free things in the game like Team Affinity Season 2. Just choose these guys first and they will basically all be done through that. You only need to buy very minimal cards to get these done if you really need those cards. And it isn't a bad idea to do that. These ones are kind of easy in the grand scheme of things, but require you to choose cards in the right order or just buy them. And they aren't as expensive as some others. Now we have our difficult ones. These ones are the award series prime and milestone series of cards. There are some very good cards. You may have to buy a few on the market and things like that. As the year goes on, these will be given out. And if you are very behind on these, you have a lot of subs to dump in. Don't rush it again. They will be giving these cards for free and other avenues later on in the game. And this will be a lot easier. But again, Team Affinity 2 will supplement you in these. Because you won't be able to get them all done through Team Affinity 2 like those other two collections we just mentioned. Now, the very difficult ones, like our awards, prime, and milestones require, I mean, our very difficult ones, like our prospects, 42 series, and signature, are gonna very likely require you to buy cards right now, and are definitely more difficult. So you should choose two of the three categories and dedicate your time towards that. You're gonna have to buy cards from these. Definitely skip one of them now, because they are the most difficult ones to obtain. And that is my general summary of the series and how you can collect them in the right manner. My general rule of thumb with this, if you are very behind on this, don't make a big deal. Obviously, Mariano Rivera is a great card and I earn him right away because I'm a content creator. I'm trying to show him off to you guys, but also give you these methods to help you all do more. But I truly recommend not rushing it. Do bit by bit on the year as you are behind and I guarantee you within one, two months or so, 
in that range, this collection will be a lot easier. If you are just hopping on late, try to complete the things that are with the game, like the monthly awards, the tops now, work on Team Affinity 2. I wouldn't even focus on Team Affinity 1 as much at this point because those things are kind of outdated and you don't need the 42 series collection to get this done. And just do bit by bit over time. They're going to keep on re releasing more signature awards, prime and cards like that to make this easier. The collections that will probably always be the most difficult though are the prospects and the 42 series which will require you to spend stubs and worry about those last and focus on the other things first. And just remember when you are doing this complete all the free things in the game like I said the team affinity gives you a ton of these cards you don't have to buy cards just it's going to take time for people to grind this stuff out and do it bit by bit over time at the pace that you can. This collection isn't meant to be a cakewalk is it meant to be easy but it's also not as difficult as it could have been there are some things that are difficult right now at this point in the game like the signature series but i guarantee you in just a little while they'll have a lot of not as good very easily obtainable signature series cards and at that point all you need is two and by the time the end of the year comes around this will be just a snap of the finger collection because by the time the end of the year comes around they will be spitting out cards if this pace right now keeps coming. And just make sure you don't spend your stubs on things like packs and things like that. Packs are nice, but especially if you're doing like team affinity and things like that, you get a bunch of free packs. Don't gamble on things. Try to buy these players directly. As no money spent player, we want to minimize as many stubs as we are spending. Earn as many players for free through team affinity too, and just offline play. And also sell anything that we can sell online to make stubs and then buy the players that we need for these collections. And that is going to be it. Hopefully this was a good little guide to help you guys get through the collection. Comment down below. How far are you in this collection right now? Are you going to try to get it done right away? Are you just going to take your time over time? Are you really close to getting this done? I'm curious how far everyone is. Obviously I got this done within a couple days, which is super cool. But listen, I have no life this game. That's clear. So I don't expect everyone to be on the same pace as me. I just want to provide this information to you guys to help you all get this done smoother because I wasted a lot of stubs. It took a little more time than necessary to get this done. And there is always a more efficient way of doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit a thumbs up if you did. I'll see you all on the next video tomorrow. Deuces.